Um, it's called the Jazz Cafe Quintet. Whole thing, so um, it's and uh, 
It, it was an interesting ride to make it. So um, this one's called Polaroid Petticoat.
you. <laughs> um, this next song is really quite exciting because this is going to be the next song released. So um, it's going to be called. Yeah, it is called. It's not going to be called. It's, it's called. Uh, we made it, we made a decision. Uh, Karma Deja Vu, and um, and and that's the title of the whole album, mainly because. Um, I'm a huge believer in karma and and leaving things to karma over and over again. Hence, karma deja vu. I guess that's kind of self-explanatory. Um, this is going to be released around Thanksgiving, so more news to come on that. Um, let's do it. <laughs> Okay, you're going to know this next song because it was playing as you came in. 
Um, it seems to be doing really well on YouTube as well. This next song is uh, Blue Lagoon, and it was uh, off the original EP, as was Fire and Ice on the very first song. Um, so yeah, I hope you like it. This is Blue Lagoon. Will you lay with me in shallow water if I can't stay? Will you hold me till we lose each other, turning into ghosts? Will you sleep with me under the sea until we find the ghost? Will you stay right here forever? You're now with a river. It's when the lights go. soppy song on it and um, so I sort of decided well I'm gonna write a song about moving home moving from home shall I say moving from home and um, you know I'm from England anyone who didn't get that? <laughs> um, from Leicester <laughs> as you can tell my family flew in for this, so this is awesome. it didn't matter as long as as long as we had the Leicester crew in um, but um, so I decided to write this kind of soppy song, really. Um, and, and basically, my mum used to write me letters um, when I first moved to New York. And she used to describe letting me go as if letting a kite go, in a way. I don't really know how to explain it, but yeah, she gets it. She gets it. She, she gets it. She'll be crying soon. So, uh, um, yeah, so it was so 
tough, like leaving family and friends and sort of moving here with no one. I had no one when I moved here. Literally had two suitcases. One had three wheels and the other didn't, like the other one didn't have a handle. So um, if you can only imagine when the taxi cab dropped me off in New York in the middle of nowhere, I'd only been here for five days when I was 16 and thought, I'm gonna live here. And, um, and so, yeah, he sort of dropped me off and I sort of just started sobbing. So I was like, what have I done? <laughs> but, um, so this is this is this next song is called Home of My Own. <clears throat>
still kind of sad, this next song, so I apologise. I'm really telling you through the ringer right now. Um, <laughs> sorry. Um, but this next song's actually going to be a cover. Uh, so, yeah, let me tell a little bit there. So, um, I've been really, really lucky recently, and um, I managed to somehow back myself an acoustic live session on Sirius XM. <laughs> It was really cool. Um, yeah, and we did that, what, like two or three days ago? Yeah, got to meet the Buble. Yeah, yeah, right. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah um, so I, we did this cover and it's really cool. I, I love this song. It's it really, it, it, this band actually um, really inspired me with making my own album. Um, it's it's unsteady by ex ambassadors. So I don't know if you guys know it, but I'm gonna play it for you now.
which are quite funny, really. Um, I, I don't like to think of myself as high maintenance. I like to think of myself as... <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> That's my step, Dan. I think that's a really good word. However, my mum's boss, when I was literally like this, like this height, like knee high to a grasshopper, um, he used to say, Nikki Pope, you've got champagne tastes with milk money. So I decided to write a song about it. <laughs> But first of all, I want you guys to put your hands together for my incredible band. <laughs> Thank you.
jam something, but it would. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Huge thank you to the Triad Theatre for having us here today. Huge thank you to Danny Aiello for making it happen. My wonderful fiance Oshan Williams, who did, an awesome <laughs> who did all the videos for this and it, it put up with all of that madness. <laughs> you should. Um, and of course, Austin Bellow, who can't be here tonight because he just had a baby. <laughs> so, my wonderful music producer, Woo! Austin Bellow. Um, all of my family and friends and everybody else who came out tonight, it's a huge, huge, huge deal to me. So, I really, really appreciate everybody that took the time to come out and, and come and jam with us and party with us for a little bit. That's really awesome of you guys. So, I appreciate that. Thank you. to BBC Music introducing in the UK and Sirius XM in the US because without them we wouldn't have had the push that we've had with this self-released album or will be self-released album. Okay. That's really awesome. um, and of course my incredible band. Um, we are the most professional people in the world. I know you guys know this last song, and uh, I'm going to want you to, to sing it with me at all times. <laughs> this is London, New York. <laughs> oh. 